afraid I don't maybe have the education a lot of people have, and everyone before me spoke so eloquently. Uh, I want to say, I think we all can agree that the Constitution is the law. You hear all about all these court rulings and what should be. They are just that, rulings. They are not the law. The Constitution has never been changed to that effect. It should, well, what they should be doing is that's what it's going to be. Now, I'm sure there's other people in here besides myself that spent time in the military. It's been time, time in combat. You. You've heard the expression probably many years ago, there's no such thing as an atheist in a foxhole. Amen. Amen. That is the God's honest truth. Amen. And don't just take my word for it. Fifty years ago, come this Sunday, I graduated from high school. Twelve days later, I received a letter from a friend in government giving me an all expense paid trip to Vietnam. Mm. Now, when I got there, I, I you know, consider myself to be Christian in my prayer. But when I got there, I prayed. Mm. And I prayed every day. And I've been doing that every day since. You have no idea what that can do. Now, I have maybe a simple solution for this. Instead of having a lot of long-winded speeches at the graduation, ask the members of the different religions to come up, well, let them all say their own prayer. And then no one will be offended. <laughs> it, 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 it's just, I mean, I am offended, personally. I am offended yep. by not allowing the students to have prayer. Amen. Amen. It doesn't hurt anybody. Yep. Show me one person who was ever hurt by a prayer. Yep. <laughs> Any way, shape, or form. Stay with the law. Don't worry so much about these court rulings. You're going to have people that you know, are going to tell you it's wrong, and you're, you're going to get fined, you might go to jail, all this kind of stuff. It's not the law. The law said we have the freedom of religion, the freedom of speech, the separation of church and state. Anybody know what that really means, separation of church and state? Yes, I do. That no government can tell us how to worship or how to pray or where to go to church. Amen. It's not to say you can't have a prayer in school. 